Hello fellow escapers, we're back with some more Tarkov and today we're going to talk about the new quest. Now I know there's been a bit of confusion to where the new quests are going to be and I can't find it. And there's all sorts of other things that people don't really understand yet. So here's the way it works. You need to get your skiers quest done first. And when you get to a certain point, he will offer you some new missions. Now this one's fairly easy. Kill a few USACs, get some MBS paid to win backpacks. A couple of AVS vests and that's pretty much it. Then he's going to give you another one, Friend from the West Part 2. And this is basically just giving him $5,000 for no apparent reason. But you have to give him that money and then you will get a call from Peacekeeper and he'll start giving you some tasks, mission, quests, however you want to call them. So once you get into that, the first one that you're going to find is going to be the fishing gear. Now he's kind of cheap as well because he's not giving you the item. So you're going to have to go and buy a Leatherman tool. You can buy this from Prapor and you also need to buy a sniper rifle, which is the SV-98. And once you bought that, then you need to deliver them on shoreline. There's a little boat actually did mine, did mine at night, but don't worry. I've actually recorded it in the day so you can see what it is. You need to hold E there and you'll drop them. It's right next to the gas station, just down on the coast, on the beach. And that's the extraction and right there is a little boat. All you do is just sit there for 30 seconds and then hit there 30 seconds again. So you can drop the multi-tool and you can also drop the sniper rifle for whoever. So hit complete, all done. You still need to buy that so you'll be spending a bit of money on that. Hit complete and let's see what we got next. It's Tiger Safari. So the Tiger Safari is basically telling you to go to customs this time around and you need to mark some sort of UN trucks for him because they can still be salvaged. So pretty much the same again, go back, buy yourself some beacons because he doesn't actually give you any of those and head into customs and see what you can do with them. Well, it's fairly simple. You've probably passed these trucks before a couple of times and you never really paid any attention to him, but now they do. It's basically the UN trucks. You've passed these a few times, you never really paid too much notice to them, but now you do. So all you do is you approach it and you just stick a, a marker on it and then wait for 30 seconds and that's pretty much it done. So there's two of them right close to each other. They're both on the army checkpoint, so you don't need to go too fast. If you spawn on the backside of customs, you can get two of these done really quickly. And the next one that you'll be able to find is right on the other side of the map. And it's right here, just construction there. That's the little shop. Can't really go wrong with these, they're fairly easy and you must have passed these quite a few times to get them. Once you've done that, then you're ready to go to the next mission. Now, the next mission is to complete this one, so let's go ahead and hit complete. We'll get a alpha rig, we'll get a few dollars, which is not too bad considering you do have to pay for the beacons yourself, so at least it gives you something in return. So the next mission we're going to go, it's going to be scrap metal and you're going to need to find and mark some tanks. Same thing again, you're going to go and have to buy the beacons. As soon as you got those, you're back in shoreline hunting some tanks. Now the first one, it's right on PVE. There's no need to explain what this is. going to be fairly easy for you to find. You spawn here plenty of times in the old patches. So it should be fairly easy for you to find. The next one is not going to be that complicated either. It's going to be right behind. So that's the power station there that you couldn't really pass in the previous patch, but now you can. So once you just get sort of past it, just across the river, to my right is basically the gas station. And to my left is that little bus stop area where you've got a couple of scavs and you actually do spawn there yourself. And to my sort of front left a little bit, that's basically where the health resort is. So you can't miss it, if you know what I mean. And the third one, well, you should know this one. This is your main extraction. It used to be your main extraction in the previous patches. It's just by the bunker. And Rock Passage, which is the new extraction, is basically going to be to my front. I'm sort of just sneaking here because there are a couple of scavs there. I'm trying to go all sneaky-breaky. So once you've done that, go ahead and complete it and we'll move on to the next mission. And the next mission is called Eagle Eye. In this one, he'll tell you what you need to do, but long story short, you need to find him some drones and retrieve something from them. Now, you know, there's one drone that you've seen before in the previous versions of the game, but there is actually another one. We'll start with that one. So it's right here next to a broken house. So if I look that way, that's the radio tower there. All that way and then if I look straight down that's the CCP temporary extraction that's the road to customs so it should be fairly easy for you to find next to that broken house once you do just approach it and on the on the other side you'll see what it says Air Force you'll be able to get that panel down and you can actually grab the stuff that he's looking for from in there and then we'll move on to the next one which you've seen and you've passed plenty of times before basically this is the bunker kind of where we've just been with the tank 
you probably use this extraction a lot of times by now so there's no need for me to explain exactly where you need to find this one because you've been here many times before so let's just go ahead and grab this and then we'll complete the mission all good let's just hand it over to him and then that will be that and then we'll move on to the next one let's just hit complete cool and the next one is humanitarian supplies so what he's telling you that a couple of trucks got hit by some scavs and they were carrying UN marked cargo and you need to find some Ural trucks. Ural trucks, back on the shoreline again, inside the compound of the health resort. There's your first one. Once you find it, you'll see the UN marked crate inside. I actually believe that it was customs in the first uh, couple of tries because I did sort of go on customs a lot of times. There's a lot of U Ural trucks there, but it turned out they're actually on shoreline. And the second one you'll be able to find it's on construction there's a massive crane that's the extraction the old extraction there and that's the road that takes you all the way to customs so once you get here just go ahead and mark it and you should be done with that mission so let's just go ahead and turn that one in too i did spend a little bit of time on customs looking for that euro truck but it turned out to actually be on shoreline so the next one is the colt and in this mission, he's worried about one of his informants that he's missing in action and he's not seen him for a while. You need to go and investigate and find him somewhere around to stalk a church, well, stalk a village as they call it. And then the next one is Spartor, which you basically need to kill 20 scouts. So he's back onto shoreline to find the missing informant, survive the area and exit. So if you spawn on shoreline and you get a random spot, hopefully you'll get something like the old spawns and you should be just on Stalker Church. And just up the little hill here, you will be able to find the dead scav inside. Once you approach him, that's going to be the mission complete. You don't need to search him or anything. All you have to do is just approach the dead scav and that's it. The mission's complete. Once that's done, it's going to give you some nice loot free, get some gold chains, you get a bronze lion. All that's going to be worth about 100k, so easy enough. And then the next one... No need to explain what you need to do here. Just kill 20 scouts and when you're done, come and press complete. And then you'll be able to move on to the next mission. Spartor part 2. Let's go ahead and accept that one. And it tells you that you need to mark the helicopter on shoreline. And you also mark a safe road. Preferably in the woods. So I don't know what that means yet. Still have to figure that one out. And then also we have the cult part 2. Which you'll need to go into every single location of the marked room you need to go into the marked uh, symbol on woods and you also need to go to the marked room inside shoreline as well and place some beacons there as well so i haven't done any of these missions yet i've stopped here because i don't have the marquee yet hopefully that's going to help you out along the way i'll continue with the rest hopefully enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one